Buongiorno belli amici. Welcome to Calabria Dreaming, you guys. I have another dream house. It's in Pietra Grande. It's five minutes from the beach. I'm gonna show you that later on. This house is four bedrooms, four bath. It's amazing. It has an in-law unit upstairs, a finished basement, a garden, source water, natural source water, and this beautiful little outdoor area with this like hanging vines, which just makes it so Italian. Imagine you're sitting here having some vino and chizo and enjoying your life. So beautiful. I really like this house, you guys. There's a lot of cool features, like these cool round windows. I just love it. And these beautiful arched windows. So as you walk in, you have this um, electrical gate here, obviously for your car. And then there's another entrance over here and it takes you up. I'm going to go in this way though, because I want to show you guys the backyard, which is really nice. It's hard to find good backyards here, but look, this nice hedge. God, I love a good hedge. And then look, beautiful backyard. I'm sure you could probably, um, you know, cover this if you wanted more shade, but you know, you got space for your bikes back here. Um, looks like this is a door into the house as well. Uh, you know, you barbecue, your Vespa, a little shed area over here. That's really beautiful. And we're so close to the beach. We're close to Pietra Grande, guys, which is, uh, I mean, like world-class beaches, Caminilla, Copanello. It's right here. It's all right here. So here you have um, source water. So you have a well, and then you have uh, the collected rainwater over there. And then, but the house is actually connected to state water. So you have all three options, but like, look at this cute little house. Yeah, let's go inside. Let's go take a look at the inside i just love these like arched doorways everywhere so cute so here as you come into the house um tile floor of course but we understand that because we're on the beach and um it's really nice like the bones of the house are great obviously i would take all the furniture out and do my magic but see past it right see past it so like i said they don't really stage houses here for open houses so this is somebody's living here currently as you can probably tell, they were playing Risk yesterday. So uh, you have a beautiful fireplace over here. Um, it's air conditioned as well in the house and heaters. And this is the living room. And then this is the front door that takes you to the front gate. So we were just out here, which is kind of nice. There's like a little bit of a mud room right here, which I love. And then this little gate opens and then you're, you go right there and you're at the beach. So. Uh, so this is the shop of the living room, dining room, and I love this kitchen. It's very unusual to find an open concept kitchen that connects with your living room and dining room. So this is really nice and it's a really nice piece of marble. And then you got your stove over here, a little oven and sink. So actually, um, and I kind of like that there's no cabinetry up top. I don't know what the storage is, but I'm sure they have a pantry or something, but like kitchen is super cute and, uh, open, overlooking the common living area. Um, before I take you guys upstairs, I'm gonna take you guys downstairs. There's the finished ba uh, basement. Um, off to the left here, we have like a little service bathroom. So it's just like, you know, bidet, toilet, and a little sink um, with a nice little window. And then we <clears throat> go down here. So um, the owner was thinking about putting a gym in here, which I think is a good idea, but you could obviously put more bedrooms in here, an office. Um, for right now, they kind of just use it as a laundry room. So there is a little laundry nook here. Of course, there's no dryers, but that's fine. You have enough space to put as million, a million dryers in here if you need to. And then here's this like little storage area. So a lot of storage, and then you just have lots of space to, if you wanted to build it out, make it into a movie room. Here's like another little living area. And here's like a little bed. So finished basement, lots of possibilities, lots of opportunities, lots of space. So, you know, whatever you need, you could put it down here. Um, and then let's go back upstairs. It's such a beautiful day today, guys. It is April 20th, I believe. And uh, you can hear the birds chirping and spring is here. It's so beautiful. I was just out on the beach tanning. So look at this window though. I mean, I just love features like this. Let's see if we can open it. Overlooking your little porch out there. So cool. So as we go up, I, um, the stairs are tile and the this is nice wood railing. I mean, the thing about tile here in Italy, you guys, is just 
They love it. I, I don't understand. So here's a little pop of tile. Kind of cool. So we have two master suites. So each master suite have, has their own ensuite bathroom. So this is master suite number one. And look at this bathtub. <laughs> it's very big. No jets though. Too bad. I should have put jets in here. That would have been perfect. But yeah, a big size bathroom. You know, your bidet, your toilet, your sink, your bathtub. A little closet, which would not even hold half of my stuff, but that's okay. And then here you have the master bedroom. <sighs> Very peaceful in here. Let's close this closet. I mean, I would take this closet out because what the hell do you need it for? And put a bigger bed in here, but that's just me. And then you come out to this little balcony that again overlooks the courtyard down there. Oh my God, you guys, the finale of this house, I have the best surprise for you at the end. It's incredible. So not gonna give it away too soon. You have to stay with me. We have more to see. So ba uh, master bedroom number one with ensuite closet and master bathroom. And then it has a little door so that you can kind of shut the whole world out. And then you have another unit over here, kind of the same. Um, it's a walk-in shower, but look how big this walk-in shower is. Like, I'm loving that. And it has that round window again, which I, like, live for. So, pretty big walk-in shower, though. Let me try it. Yeah. Oh, yes. This is big. All right. Cool, right? So, nice bathroom. I mean, mm, needs a little work. But pretty, pretty good. I mean, in good shape. All right. And then, so that's master bedroom number two is over here. So it, they put it into a kid's room, but again, take these bulky closets out and open it up. And again, that arched window, love it. Super cute. So this is like master suite number two. All right, with another door that you can close so you can be left alone. And then, and then we're gonna go upstairs. So this is like a little halfway point little stairway up from the main house and here we go you guys such a perfect day to shoot this house like i love it all right so then we go up here and not only do you have a fabulous terrace overlooking the beach which is right there montauro beach you also have another unit an in-law unit like how cute this is like if i was a teenager this would literally be the best room ever. You could make this into an office. You could have this be a guest suite. Um, it's two rooms and a bathroom. So here's, it looks like it's a teenager's. <laughs> Look at this, Lord of the Wings. Anyways, this looks like a, a young boy's room, but you know, turn this into an office, turn this into a fabulous guest room. So when your guests come, they stay here and they wake up to that. I'm gonna show you guys a view in a second, but yeah, here's the second bedroom. And then you have a little bathroom over here. So totally self-contained, you can just live up here. And as you wake up every morning, you wake up again, the arched doorway is so cute. You walk out and what do we see? We see the Mediterranean Sea. And not only that, but actually like the whole view, like you see Montepone over there, Gasparina up there. And then as you go over here, that's Pietra Grande. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Pietra Grande is over here, but this is, um, what the heck is it called? Staliti. So around here is Caminia Beach. I literally walk this hill it's like a little hill. It's a little butt blast. You go up and down. It's literally 10 minutes. And then you're in freaking Caminia Beach, which is incredible. If you've ever been to Calabria, you probably heard of uh, Pietra Grande and Caminia. They're very, very popular beaches. So it's not like full beach property. You're not right on the water, but you can smell the air. You can walk to the beach and we're going to do that right now. And you can see it. And the the sound here, you sleep so good here. So yeah, guys, this is the house. So four bedrooms, four bath, finished basement, uh, open concept living and dining and fireplace. 
um, and you know, beautiful terrace up here. This is wonderful. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you along. Look at, look at, look at, look at this beautiful view. All right, let me zoom in. It's so beautiful. Columbia is so beautiful, you guys. So green here. So peaceful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go downstairs and we're going to walk to the beach. So you can see, first of all, how close it is. And then also like the beach that we're on, which is such a great beach day. All right, guys. So come with me. Stay with me. All right, guys. So the house is right there. Okay. And now we're going to walk to the beach and it's over here. Of course, there's some gardener doing some work. So hopefully you can still hear my voice, but I just want to show you like exactly how close you are to the beach. So you walk down a little street here. C'è un mercato qui, vero? Un piccolo negozio, il bar, ci sono le cose qui, vero? So in the summer, this is a very popular beach destination and all of these houses get rented out. Um, they have a little gelateria, which is really good, and they do great um, granita there. They also have like a little mini market and like a cafe and like they have little stuff here. So there is a little bit of a city or town here, but it's really only during the summer. In the winter, it's pretty dead here. But you're, you're right next to Monte Paone. Um, there is a big mall with a big supermarket and all the stuff that you need. It's very, very convenient to live here. So, and this neighborhood is really beautiful as well. Some really great houses. And I walk around here all the time. I swear, I, I'm a big walker and I've walked up and down these houses, these rows and just looked at houses, you know? Cause I love looking at houses and dreaming and fantasizing about all the things that I would do to them. <laughs> so I'm a freak. But yeah, so here we are, we're walking. We're walking and look at this cute house. I love this house. See, oh, and there's a Lido here. So look at these cute houses though. Like the neighborhood is so freaking cute. I love these houses. Some of getting full renovations like this one. I don't know if you can see, it's super cute. Anyways, guys, look. Okay, so that was neanche due minuti. That was not even a two minute walk, 30 seconds to get to this beach. And then you have a Lido here. So if you wanted to rent an umbrella for the summer, you just walk your booty from your house here. Umbrella's already ready for you. You got food, you got drinks, you got friends, you got the beach. And then when you feel like having lunch, you go home, come back. Like this is like the best life ever. Ah so gorgeous today you guys and in the summer these beaches are immaculate so this is winter chaos so this is not how it's it is in summer in the summer it's amazing how anal they become about the beach and its cleanliness it's perfection literal perfection i'm sorry what where are we look where we are you guys pietra grande some really fun cliff diving from over there, cliff jumping. And then if you go around Pietra Grande, then you have Caminilla. And then if you go around Caminilla, then you have Coponello. And it just continues. The beaches just continue the fabulosity. And then if you go down here, right? Okay, so I live down this way. I live in Montepone. And right over there at the tip of that little peninsula is Soverato. So you would live between Soverato and Caminilla. Guys, it is pristine beach beaches. Pristine, look at this water. It's so good to live on the beach, you guys. You have no idea. It really, really, really changes your life. And um, like I said, this house is amazing. So four bedrooms, four bath, 395,000 euros. Uh, email me for serious inquiries at calabriadreaming at gmail.com check out my website calabriadreaming.com and also check out my Instagram from time to time I have just stupid little stories about my life and what I'm up to on a daily basis it's a little bit more personal um, so yeah let me know what you think of this house could you live on this beach do you think you can handle it let me know what you think you guys thanks again for coming with me on another beautiful house tour of, in Calabria and we can't wait to see you soon. Ciao!